What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to quickly create invoices in QuickBooks Online. This won't take long, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna create an invoice in QuickBooks Online. And to do that, I'm gonna go over here to the top left and I'm gonna click on this plus. And right under customers, I'm gonna click invoice. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to select who your customer is. If you don't have a customer, let's say I'm going to try to add one here, you could just add new and then you're going to fill in all of their information. Once you have all of that information in, you're going to move to the next part, which would be your terms. So you can select what your terms and conditions would be. And let's say there's a term that's not on here. You could just simply click add new and then you can create the term that you'd like. But for this example, I'm gonna use net 30. Then we're gonna put our invoice date. And once you put your invoice date, it's gonna automatically add your due date in based on your net terms. So let's say I said my invoice date is November 1st, it's gonna automatically fix your due date for you. Now below here, you can put your service date if you feel like that's necessary. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our products and services. If you don't have a product or service or you don't know how to create these, I did create a video on this. So make sure that you check it out. I linked it below, but I'm just going to select a product. Okay. So I selected my product and you have to decide as well if this is taxable. Now, when you create your products and services, like I mentioned in the other video I did, you will decide if it's taxable. But if for some reason it was marked off and you don't want it to be, you could just uncheck this box and it won't tax you. Then down below, we have our message that we can include in our invoice. So you can say anything you like here. If you want to include a message on the statement, you can as well. And if you need to include any type of attachments, you can include them here. The last thing I do want to know is you can give a percentage discount or you can give a value discount. If you do have to do sales tax, just make sure that you double check this section and that you selected the right one. If you don't have it set up, you can click add new and do that. But from here, I can see my invoice. I can click right here where it says print or preview. And you can look at what your invoice will look like before you send it out to your client. And as long as you're okay with it and everything looks good, then you can just click save and send. And what it will do is the email that you list here, it's going to send them this invoice. Now, if you don't know how to customize your invoice, I did do a separate video for that as well. And the customization is going to be pretty cool because you're going to be able to see how you can add your logo. You can change your colors. You can change your layout based on really whatever it is that you want. But for now, this is how we create invoices in QuickBooks online. And that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time. Ciao.